This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 63 of Horse Tip Daily, a different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Horse Tip Daily brings the world of equine knowledge to you one day at a time. Today's topic is sponsored by Equestrian Collections, the whole universe of equestrian shopping at your fingertips at a price you can afford. Visit equestriancollections.com. Enjoy today's tip. Glenn the Geek back with you from the horse capital of the world, Lexington, Kentucky. I wanted to mention first a couple uh, housekeeping notes. The first thing is I got emails from several of you saying, is there any way on iTunes that you can show more than the last 10 shows, 10 episodes of each show? And that's what was showing. There was only, you could only get on iTunes up to the last 10 episodes of each show. Well, we have fixed that now. And now you can get up to the last 100 episodes of each show. So that should be enough to keep you busy for a little while. So if you go to iTunes and you go to the iTunes store, and you search for any one of the shows, like search for Horse Tip Daily, and you find it there and click on it, you will see that it lists all 100 of the shows. The other thing I wanted to mention to you is in your podcasting section, podcast section of iTunes, where you find our shows there, if you go to the show and you highlight our show, Horse Tip Daily or Stable Scoop, any one of them, right-click on it, you will see a thing that says... Uh, list all shows, list all episodes. And if you click that, it will list all the episodes and not just past three or four, however you have it set up. You can set that up right in iTunes. So you'll find them all there. You can download them all to your player. You can listen to past episodes. We encourage you to do that. It's one of the advantages of podcasts over regular radio. that You can listen anytime, anywhere to any of the episodes back to episode number one. And with Horse Tip Daily, that's, that's even more important because all of these tips are relevant whether you listen to it the first day they came out or or three, five months later, a year later. It doesn't matter. They're not time sensitive. And also, I wanted to let everyone know about a great giveaway that we have going on over at the Stable Scoop Radio Show right now. We are giving away three things, compliments of our great sponsor, Equestrian Collections, and Mountain Horse. We have the Mountain Horse Ladies Arena Jacket. That's a $145 jacket uh, from Mountain Horse. It's the most comfortable waterproof jacket ever. And uh, it looks, it is stylish, and it's a workhorse. It's lightweight, windproof, and breathable, yet it's still waterproof. even has the two, two-way waterproof zippers on it. So you'll find that over there in a pretty blue. Plus the Horsewear New Market Human Throw Rug. These are rugs that you use for yourself. Uh, actually, blankets. So they've come out with a whole line now of new market stuff to match their pretty gold and red blankets that they've had for years. So that's available uh, to win as well. And plus uh, Mountain Horse Unisex Ultra Socks. These are the epitome in socks, and uh, they complement your winter boots. They're warm and comfortable, ideal for the coldest days, and they have some nifty features that you have never seen on the sock before. They're a value of $27. So you can get, win up hundreds of dollars worth of stuff over at stablescoop.com. Just go to stablescoop.com, and you'll see right in the middle of the page the, the link for the giveaway. Just click on that. It's free. It's easy. Sign up to win today. And you can go over there through uh, the end of October, and we'll be drawing winners on Halloween. Well, we wanted to thank Equestrian Collections for providing those fine things that were given away over at Stable Scoop. You know, Equestrian Collections is is the ultimate place to really go for anything you need for yourself or your horse, especially this time of year when you're preparing for fall and winter, from uh, human clothing to rider clothing to horse clothing, whatever you need for fall and winter is over there at equestriancollections.com. Pretty soon we'll be thinking about Christmas as well, and they have tons of gifts and things you're going to want to take a look at for Christmas time. But for right now, you need a new jacket, you need a new coat. They have dozens of varieties, dozens of selections for you and for your horse. I encourage you to stop over to questioncollections.com. Before you go to that place that you're used to going, check them out first. You're going to love what they have. You're going to love their selection and their prices. That's equestriancollections.com. 
Well, today we announce a new partnership that I'm very excited about. HorseCity.com will begin carrying the Horse Tip Daily Show as an affiliate in the next couple of weeks. HorseCity.com has been around ever since I can remember and concentrates mainly on the western side of the house. They have a great site with some terrific content. One of the things they do well is video tips. They have a large collection of videos on any number of subjects, and they'll be providing us with the audio for some of our daily tips here at Horse Tip Daily. Today we have the first of that audio. You will hear two voices on this clip. The first is host Alan Moorhead. Uh, he hosts, he's a host at HorseCity.com, uh, and he's well known as a professional rodeo announcer. He has a great voice, too. Uh, the veterinarian on this clip is Dr. Mike Lauder. He is the Associate Professor of Large Animal Internal Medicine and Chief of Field Services. So he knows what he's talking about when it comes to animals. And they're speaking about things you should look for before buying a horse. And this is a two-part series. Part one is today, and you will hear part one tomorrow. So be sure to tune in then or subscribe through iTunes or Zoom. And here we go. Now, I will not be interacting with this as it is a recorded audio from their video, which you can find their videos. You can watch the video that goes with this audio over at HorseCity.com. Horse lovers always have to make a decision. When it comes time to purchase a horse, we want to look at a pre-purchase exam. If you're spending $1,000, $1,500, $2,000 on a horse, do you want to spend $200, $300 with a veterinarian for that pre-purchase exam? There's always things you can do yourself. I'm joined at the clinic with Dr. Mike here at the University of Georgia, and we're going to talk about some of the things that individuals can do. Dr. Mike, thanks for being here with us today. Glad to be here as always, Alan, and you're right. There's a lot of things a horse owner can do themselves that'll help them in doing that pre-purchase exam. Granted, you know, there's a, tons of horses out there now, as we all know, for $1,000, $1,500. And it may make sense to do some things yourself. Now, what are some of the first things that we really want to look at to make sure the horse is suitable for what we're going to do with the horse? Well, the first thing you want to do, like anything, is get the overall demeanor of that horse. If you're looking at a barrel racing horse, he's not going to be standing over there. Now, Wilbur may not be a barrel racing horse. He's a little bit quiet and laid back, but he can come alive when the time happens. So just exactly. the overall demeaning. Make sure the horse has a nice hair coat, that he looks healthy, got a nice shine to him, that someone's taking care of him. You know, now, would this be something that we would want to do as far as a pre-purchase check to, uh, to check the horse out before we ride the horse to try him or after? Well, I'd probably do a lot of this before, and that way you're saving everybody's time. Okay. Now, one of the things you want to do when you first come up here is just take your hands, look at his eyes, and his eyes should blink. You don't have to scare him hard, but his eyes should blink. Wilbur sees good. Make sure you can see out of both eyes, because if you can't see those barrels of poles, you can't run around them. Exactly right. Next thing I always want to check for is I'll put my hands down here and make sure I've got even airflow out of both sides. And what's that going to tell you? Well, Alan, when we've got a barrel racing horse, he's got to be able to breathe. And if he can't breathe, he can't run. Straight things. Got to have great lung capacity. Lung capacity. So we're sitting there. Now, the next thing you can palpate is right here. You can palpate those upper teeth. Feel how sharp they are. Don't stick your finger in his mouth. You may get bit. We don't now, that explain happen. palpate just a little bit to us. Well, palpate, when vets use that term, they're just talking about feeling or putting pressure on something. And that's something that you'd use all over. All over the horse. Touchy-feely. Touchy-feely. That's exactly right. The next thing we would look at, you know, Wilbur's used to having treats here. It's owner who back here keeps giving him treats. But you would palpate the edge of this mouth right here uh -huh. and see how much, if any, scar tissue is there. Because if it is a lot of scar tissue and you got a horse, somebody's been snatching on his mouth a lot. And ridden kind of rough. Ridden kind of rough. So we're going to work our way on back. So when we get back in here, look at this neck region. Make sure everything's nice and smooth. And I like to come down to where this jugular vein is at, right here, and make sure that it's patent. Now, when you talk about patent and the jugular vein, what are you talking about there? Well, what we're looking at is to make sure that blood is flowing through here nice and smooth and even and that someone hasn't given this horse a ton of shots because sometimes when especially when they come off the track this is all scarred up here and a horse that's got a juggler that's not patent or scarred down makes me think that he's got a bunch of drugs in him or had at one point in time that could interfere with the blood flow interfere with blood flow the biggest thing is you just don't want to start off with something that's already scarred down so once you get through with that come in here palpate this horse under here, right here where his trachea is at and his larynx. Yes, sir. See if he coughs. And if he's coughing or <laughs> like this, he may have a little breathing problem and you may have to think about getting his scope. But again, if it's in that horse that we're just going to trail ride, it may not be of any consequence to us. Now we're talking about running barrels and running poles. We've always got to have great limbs for that. What are we going to check out on the legs? All right. First thing, like any other horse, we all know what our legs should look like. It should be nice and straight. 
even. And when we start coming down here, the biggest thing we want to do is come down to this knee, palpate it, make sure there's no chips or anything like that. And you've got a good specimen there. We'd look at this, palpate this, work our way down to these tendons that are in the back here. And you can see on the back side of this leg all this important tendons that are here. You're looking for heat or swelling, anything of that nature that feels abnormal. And you can see he's not picking his leg up. And granted, we'd pinch on this thing hard. The last thing you want to do is feel right down around in this region here on both sides mm -hmm. for any scar tissue. Right. Which might indicate that the horse was nerved. But other than that, nice good leg, pick him up, look at that hoof. And we'd basically do the same thing for the hind leg as well, right? Hind leg as well, again. You can see all the tendons and important ligaments coming down through here. We're going to do the same thing on the hind leg. Well, Dr. Mike, we thank you. That's at the clinic. Hey, you can check out your own horse with a pre-purchase exam. Well, thanks to HorseCity.com for providing today's tip. You can see the video that goes with this audio at HorseCity.com, and we'll provide you a link in today's show notes at HorseTipDaily.com, episode number 63. Well, it's time for today's email. Well, again, this comes from Facebook. Uh, Anita uh, on a, she commented on the massaging tip we had a couple of days ago. And Anita said, I want to die and be reborn as a horse. Someone else gathers my food, gets my water, stays up all night, walking me if I get a bellyache, and now massage. Who's at the top of the food chain? Well, isn't there a... <laughs> I mean, thanks, Anita, for, for posting that on Facebook there over on Equestrian Collections fan page. You know, there isn't a time when we all don't agree with that, when we, we realize, look, we're spending more time, pam time pampering our horses than ourselves or our kids or our, our spouse. Uh, we certainly spend more time in the barn than we do the house uh, cleaning, that's for sure. So I can't agree with you more, Anita. It does seem like that sometimes. Well, if you want to send me an email or comment on any of the shows, you can do so on Facebook. Uh, we have a fan page at horsetipdaily.com or at equestriancollections.com. They have a huge fan page with almost 10,000 members now. A lot of talking and commenting going on over there. And you also can find all the rest of our shows at, at horseradionetwork.com. Be sure to check them out. There are some fantastic shows over there that we've done and, and some great new ones this week. Well, I'll be back again tomorrow with another new expert and a different horse tip. Until then, stay safe, everyone. Mm -hmm.